seriously pointing out to the Commonwealth uh, what the benefits of this legislation are and why, in fact, their uh, lawmakers put it into effect to begin with. We're part of a coalition. Uh, us, MGM, and, and Penn have worked together so far. Uh, Wynn has not, for some reason, been interested in, in discussing uh, working against this referendum and this potential referendum. How much money are you willing to put up uh, yeah. in that fight? We'll see. <laughs> Certainly enough to make the case. But in the end, do you think that if it does go to a vote, Massachusetts residents will not support repeal. They will end up, uh, therefore, virtually uh, backing casinos. That's just one man's opinion. That wasn't low enough. Mitchell Edis, very nice to meet you. Thank you. Hours and some heavy rain are pretty much over now, but it will be partly sunny due the rest of the day, and there could yet be a thunderstorm this afternoon or tonight. Highs today in the upper 80s, mid-70s on the Cape and the Islands. Tonight again, heavy rain, thunder possible and hail possible tonight, close to the mid-60s. Tomorrow, sunny and hot, it'll be humid, could be some thunder, right around 90 degrees on Wednesday, sunny and closer to 80 on Thursday. In Boston now, 62 degrees. Stay with us, the morning stop stories are coming up at 24-7. People feeling confident about the economy. Especially on some of the higher-end gifts. When we look at where the giving is coming from, the majority of giving is coming from individuals. And last year, giving by individuals rose more than 4%. Foundation giving also rose, although corporate giving dropped. Education, health, arts, and environmental groups were among those that saw the biggest increases. Pam Fessler, and your news. There's been a new attack in Kenya from suspected militants. Police say after Bob militants struck a second time in the Kenyan coastal city of Poromoko, eight people were killed. The group is also claiming responsibility for another attack in the nearby Kenyan town Sunday night that left 48 people behind in a small camp near the checkpoint. It is one of four being set up by the Kurdish regional government. When the camp people register, the tape is shaded by a yellow tarp. It is a sea of sand and blue tents. Women hang up laundry on clotheslines, and children rinse themselves under faucets connected to red tanks on the of the camp. There are about 170 families here, and every day, a few more arrive. Some One minute, Bob! Others buy car, and they come with little to nothing, but the clothes they're wearing, and a few things they could grab from their homes. 